two weeks, some people are given one month to serve their company, yes, the ministry will give you the notice period. And after that notice period, your new company will have to assert a new copy in the Ministry of Labor website. How long should I work with the company before I resign and leave the country? Yes, Sharon Moore 12, thank you so much for joining. It depends. You want to leave the country for good or once you complete your probation period with the company, you can resign and move back to your country, depending on your contract. Some people can resign within the probation period before even finishing what you call the probation period. Yes, that your probation period is six months. You get a new offer or you want to exit the country. You can notify your company through the Ministry of Labor authentication system online that I'll be leaving my, your company after completing my notice period, which is after the six months, I'll be leaving the country. Put a notification, they'll give the message, they'll also notify your, 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 your employer. Then, if you want to cancel out and go out yourself, yes, you can. Yes, I want to change to another job. Yes, you can change. You want to change to another job after probation period? Yes, what you do, if your probation period is six months, before the six months, before your end of two months, put a notification, a request through the Ministry of Labor that this and this I'll be changing or I want to change my sponsor or I want to change my job after my probation period. The, noti the notification will be sent to your employer. Then if you have someone else who can give you an offer letter or who can give you a job, you can apply directly to the ministry. But if you are in a, in a probation period, you cannot just resign unless you give a notification to the Ministry of Labor if you want to change to another job. Are you in Qatar, Dixon? Yes, soft love. I'm not in Qatar. I'll be coming back in one week. In one week, I'll be returning back to Qatar. Yes, hopefully, when the Ramadan starts, I'll be here. Sometime I'm taking off for work here and here. Do you know about UAE visas? And right now, not so much UAE. I got off the data of UAE. Yeah, but I can ask one friend of mine who is a lawyer there. I can try to ask him. He can really prove me what you need to do. Yes, or I can just refer to other people that can give you right now. Yeah. Humaya, that's what I can do. What is an indefinite contract? An indefinite contract has no art. It has no end. Before you have to break that indefinite contract, you have to have a coincidence between you. You can either break the contract or you can cancel the contract or your employer closes the contract. Who either breaches the contract rules of what agreed you can break, but you must give a notice period. Both parties must give a notice period for an indefinite contract. yeshamorgom at gmail.com follow the like thank you so much mr ibms thank you so much for joining so that's what you need to do so is it that better for the process yes it is better but what is your contract saying brother what is the contracts that you sign with that company saying what are some of the clauses down listed out in that contract I think it will give you a better way of how to deal with it. If you have a new job from a new sponsor, you can either resign exit for an exit entry, cancel out, then you return on a fresh visa. How clear overstay fines? Overstay is fine to repay. I think now it's 10 real, 10 real per each day that you overstay. So how long will period you've overstayed is how much you'll pay. Unless you have to appeal with equal evidence, but that will take a process for you to appeal. If you have a genuine reason, you can appeal. You can appeal if you have a new offer letter, you can appeal, written document to the ministry, attach it. They will take to review, the ministry will review, then it will send to Ministry of Interior, then they will take the concession decision. I need to change company, but a new company asking NOC, and my current company not giving NOC. How long you've completed with that company? You can give in a resignation letter. If you have an offer letter and you have what you call, if you have an offer letter from the new company and the computer card, then you can apply. 
you can apply with the resignation, then you can apply. NOC is not mandatory. A company giving you NOC is not mandatory for the company to give you NOC. It can either refuse or give it to you or not refuse. Mm. Yes, at Betty, Bob, thank you so much for joining. Octavia, thank you so much for joining. Clitman, Martha, thank you so much for joining. Two and five months. Yes, no problem. Two and a half, five months, you can resign if you have a very good offer. Who resign? You can resign in a very formal way. Tell the company that I got a better offer which can take care of me and my family. Thank you so much for the mentorship. Thank you so much for the opportunity for giving me or giving me the opportunity for working for this multinational or growing company. I'll be very happy for any assistance I'll be giving you within my last day working with you. How is gratitude calculated if a person finished a contract of four years? Yes, it will done. Danis is 400. It will depend on what was your basic salary. Depends on what was your basic salary. But remember, if you worked into the company for more than two, you uh, are for less than two years, then probably what you need to know, they will give you three weeks of your basic salary. If you've worked in the company for more than two years, they'll give you for more than two years, above to four years, you will be entitled to four weeks of your basic salary. So what is very important right now with you, it is what is your basic salary. If your basic salary is 500, which I presume now, all companies or all people are entitled to a basic salary of 1,000. So calculate 1,000, 1,000 times four years, you'll get 4,000, depending. If with your company you don't have penalties, you hold, don't have any cases that you did, it's okay. If you finish up your ID, don't resign when the ID has pending months. Company may decide to cut part of the money to fill the payment they did for you for the QID. That is also another instance. So if all those are not within what I've mentioned, then you are so lucky you may have 4,000 plus a flight ticket back to your own country. But, someone's, but some companies, when you resign with them, they delay to give you a conclusion letter. No, no. Now it's, it does not matter about the conclusion letter. Conclusion letter, what you call the release letter. If they're giving you, I can give you a resignation. You refuse to take the resignation. But I've written a resignation to you. What shows that I've given you a resignation is either I've attached a copy to the company email, I gave a copy to my supervisor, I submitted a copy to my office and the same copy, I have a photocopy of the same copy. I gave out. You took it or not took it, it's okay, I submitted to you. I gave a copy on the company website, on the company email, which was attached. I have evidence of the screenshot. That is enough attachment. Yes, Polymath, Universe, Universa, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for the like. Uh, Beistish. Kelly, thank you so much for joining. Yes, sometimes I may not pronounce your name so loudly, goodly, but you have to, to, to bear with me. Thanks for your answers. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And may God bless you, all of you who are hustlers in these countries, wherever you're going through. Someday everything will be fine. And you'll be fine. It's just a step and step and you'll take up. Thank you so much for the like. Kisa finished. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the love, guys. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the love. Don't have to give up. Don't have to give up. Can I get NOC through the ministry? Yes, you can apply. You can apply for NOC, the ministry. Put in your details. If you've completed with that company for more than one year, or if you've completed with that company for two years, you can apply for the NOC through the ministry. But less short of that, it's not a considerable period for someone, for, for, for it to look at that kind of what you call engagement. Yes, you can apply. Three years now, it's okay, you can apply. But I think for all going for the company NOC, the better thing is for you, we resign, put in your resignation. If the company accepts your resignation or not, get a new company that has an offer letter, attach an offer letter, Take in your application to the ministry, apply. I want to be on a Qatari visa. 
he also need to give me a computer card really Yasin yes 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 they have IDs they have they have they have ID his ID now he becomes as your sponsor when they go in the system your ID number is different from the national ID from someone who is a national it's a different ID the details when they put the details they will definitely know how much no it, for application does not need it's not a lot of money you can apply the change of sponsor on the website by yourself the problem is that if you can speak arabic you can apply fill in the document it's okay if you cannot fill in arabic then you need to go to a typing center where they will upload a document which is editable document in pdf fill in the arabic part of it all submit give ask you the requirements the attachment you are attach from there and there they will give you an otp send you an otp number on your mobile they will send that otp number fill it in the application they'll give you the ec number so some typing center is a business some requires request 30 real some 20 real some 15 real depending on how you negotiate fully well with them Yes, Denise, hope I've got back to you. How to deal with em employers that are not paying salaries? Yes, unpopular opinion. Say how to deal with employers that are not paying salary? Yes, what you do? First thing, put it in writing. First, always first put your grievances in writing. In a very formal way. Don't go out in informal. Don't first take the informal. Some of us, we may be in companies, but you may find someone is taking information to someone else, to the manager, to supervisor. Don't first go informal. Go to the formal. Talk to that person who is responsible. You can talk to that person through what you call formal way, then after put in writing, then you see. Is it possible to apply citizenship, Qatar? No. No, 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 brother. You must be a Qatari, married, or you must be married to a Qatari woman, Produce children, fulfill the requirements, then you will be applied. They will automatically, it will, they have the process, but you cannot apply. Not like European countries, you cannot apply for citizenship here. So it is possible to apply citizenship. No, it is impossible to apply for citizenship. You must fulfill a lot of requirements and follow a lot of procedure for you to proceed for that. Do you have direct employment now in Qatar? Brother, I don't have direct employment. I don't have any employment. I don't have any employment. I can't lie to you. I don't want to lie to you and I don't want to lie to you. However, if I can get any link somewhere who's looking for some people, I can send you the link and tell you how you can send your CV, how you can write your CV. If you have a CV, I can proofread through your CV and I can tell you this one is good, this one can go here, this one cannot go here. Most of the time when we are applying online, people are applying online, there is what we call ATS system. Those CVs go through that one. They don't go direct, definitely. They will be sorted out with the, what you call the font, what you use, what are the keywords, is it part of your description? Yes. So you'll find that you can apply very many times, your CV is not selected, or not even shortlisted anyway. Then you know you have a problem with a CV, font, word writing, what were the keywords are not matching with the job description, that is it. If I'm working as a maid and work for one year, what would you advise? I want to get an out to your job. Yes, it is two situation. Either your employer can give you a waiver, a release for you to apply for an outside job. Another job is for you to exit out of the country, come into, you come back into the country you come back into a country with another visa. But make sure if you are a housemate, if you are exiting, make sure your ID is cancelled. Because if your ID is cancelled, you cannot come back into another person's visa with another job. Make sure as you exit, check in Metrash. Check in the Ministry of Interior website whether your QID is cancelled before you exit. If you work for eight months and you want to leave the company, Keita, yes, you can leave the company. You can resign. Depending on the terms, depending on the terms of your contract, you can either leave, but who is going to pay your ticket, you or yourself? 
that is the mutual agreement that happens which kind of type of contract you sign between you and the employer talk about cv how can i send you check 55886967 send me a copy i look through your copy and i'll tell you what you need to remove and what you need to apply and which kind of position you want to apply my friend he have worked in our company for three years but yesterday they terminated him yes chicharito yes chicharito if they terminated your friend yesterday he has a termination letter he has 30 days to live in the country or he has 30 days to look for a new employer let him get a new employer with an offer letter then you will apply to the Ministry of labor yes that is that is, that means the company does not need you it's, it's a direct noc a waiver and give him 15 days to look for a job those days are okay it's supposed to be 30 days not period it's supposed to be grace period we call it 30 days as per the law you are supposed given once the company terminates you you have 30 days to live in the country to look for a job once you don't look for someone who can change your sponsorship within the 30 days you are supposed to exit but once you apply once you apply and you get the ec number then there's no way you can go out of the country you need to wait for the ministry now the whole process is for the ministry to approve you and you send the country without exiting the problem is some of us when we get termination data we sit on the termination data you get a termination letter and you sit on a termination data for one week the first day you get a termination letter stamped on the first day if you have an offer letter and what you call the computer card or with the new uh, the new employer apply immediately on that time the website is always open from 7 a.m in the morning until around 1 30 or 1 15 or 1 45 they will close off this uh, the the website the ministry of website application why because that is off the working hours so they will close it so that's the only period you can apply so apply immediately for change of sponsor you'll have the ec number when you have the ec number no, this 15 days is nothing. You can stay in the country until you are approved. Mm. Yes, thank you so much. You are welcome. Yes, Habra Rahman, thank you so much. Rajesh, thank you so much. Uh, Usman, Tujan, bro, thank you so much for bro. I want to send my, my you my CV to cross check. Yes, brother, Rio Grun, Yugi, send me your CV. Check 5588. My number, my WhatsApp number, 6967. Yes, I'll read through, then I'll, 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 I'll tell you what you need to change and what you need to use. No, for free, just for free, I'll do it for free. Then I'll tell you what to include and what not to include. Yes, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Where are you? I'm outside of the country right now. I'm in, away in Qatar, but not very far in Qatar. I'm doing some other work somewhere else and I'll be returning. Bro, I applied for a certain company and my ID was taken for change of new sponsor. Yes, yes, Pro Naro. Uh -huh. What happened? You apply? I applied for for a certain company and my ID was taken for change of new sponsor. But what what you try me uh, try get get me clear. When you apply to a company change, if that ID was not yet expired, that expired of ID will first get off, then after the minutes of interior lab will print a new ID that has a new sponsorship. They will cancel out because they need to pay what you call the visa sponsorship fee, which is around 2000 something. Okay? Which was not, which was you supposed to go. But I, I, was, but I was not called for work. Really? No, ask them to give your ID. Why they took, they took your ID? It's your right. They should give your ID. For change of sponsorship and ID. You don't need to have your ID. Your, someone can take your ID to the ministry to cross-check and to make payments. Only to verify that you are the real person. But as a sort of that, no one has to take your ID. Even if at some time, if someone is going to change, let's say print for you, one ID is expired and you have a new ID. 
the person does not need your ID. They will just go and take photocopy. Just of that, they will say the ID number they will have. So you need to ask where your ID is because you cannot live without your ID. Let me ask you, Pop Naro, are you working for that company that took your ID? That is the question. Get me to that, then I'll give you the advice and I'll tell you what is happening probably. Yes, thank you so much for joining. You put the name is in Arabic, but... Yes, you ask about sponsor, uh, citizenship in Qatar. No, 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 no. It's not. They do not give sponsor. They do not, they do not give citizenship. Yes, Sharon Moore, thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for sharing the life. You share the life. Thank you so much. I want to send my CV and go through. Yes, please send me your CV. Yes. Uh, naked body. Hi, bro. Thank you so much. I, I gave you my, my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is 558869967. Saying, why was my change of sponsorship request rejected? There are two counts where it may be rejected. Okay, it was two counts when it is rejected. One of us, it may be rejected because you need approval from your employer. Some companies may give you NOC, but still they need to make approval. That is why sometimes I tell people, if they give you NOC, don't sit on it. Use the NOC within a given period of time. My ID was cancelled and uh, it got off. So when that one... When it is rejected, it is rejected the first time. Either your company did not approve you. They need to confirm that whether they gave you the NOC. Especially for people who are working in security. That one is mandatory. The first reject will come, the second reject, the second, the PR of that company has to go there and approve to the ministry. Then on two counts, another count may be you have to fill up some document. There may be some document that may be required to fill up so that the system can be pending document that the system can move on, then you will approve. Apart from that, if they reject the first time, find out what document is missing. Find out what document is missing. Most of the time, you can go to the ministry and ask them, I asked for, I, I put in my change, what document is missing? They will tell you that this document is missing. The problem that people think going to the Ministry of Labor, it is another crime. Once you have that fear, you'll never go there. It's not a crime. They are not going to arrest you. It's like someone who wants to find out whether he has a case with the CID. Go to the CID, go. Don't go to, to find out. Okay? Go find out. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think I need to get off for work now. I think I'll stop here. Hope to catch up later. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. I'll do get there later. Bro, I'm not understand well what to talk about. Yes, naked body. What would you think? Okay, you can come to my inbox. I have to get off for work now. It's my time off. I'll get to you another time, okay? Thank you so much for guys.